What's going on guys? I'm back with another video. Today, I am going to be showing you guys how to build the boys autograph card collection even though they don't have a set. Let's get into it. The boys is probably one of the best shows on Amazon. If you haven't seen it yet, I don't know what you're doing. There's also a spin-off series called Gen V that has a season out right now. Both of the shows have more seasons coming. So, I mean, if you haven't watched it yet, go check it out. But they don't have a card set. And it got me thinking, if I, if I was a big fan of the boys and I collected cards, could I build an autograph collection based off of the show? And the answer is yes. And I, I, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So what I did was I went through the whole cast of the show, essentially all the main characters or close to main characters. And I went on eBay and essentially looked up their names and seen if they had any cards in any other set. And surprisingly, there's a good amount of people from the show that have autographs in other sets. So what I'm going to do is on the screen, I'm going to throw up the cards that I found for the character from the show and their name so you know what you're looking at so starting off we have carl urban who is billy butcher in the show and he surprisingly has a few autographs from multiple different sets so i'm gonna try and find screenshots from ebay and i'll throw them on the screen so you can see it but he has a autograph in star trek into darkness into the darkness or into the darkness sorry he has one in chronicles of riddick and I saw that movie not too long ago, and I didn't even recognize him from the movie. But surprisingly, he's in that. He also has an autograph in Lord of the Rings, the trilogy series from Tops Chrome. And he has one in Xena, Warrior Princess. Have no idea what that movie is, but he has, he has an autograph in there, and he's in that show. So, yeah, if you want a, a Carl Urban autograph, there's plenty of them out there for you if you're a fan of the show. Moving on, we have Jensen Ackles as Soldier Boy, and he actually only has one other autograph that I could find. He was in the show Supernatural, and he has an autograph in there. So yeah, if you want a Soldier Boy autograph, there you go. Next on the list, we have actually a pretty interesting one. We have Karen Fukuhara as Kimiko, and she actually doesn't have a an actress autograph from another show she has she's actually does the voice for a star wars character and i'll throw it up on the screen you obviously it doesn't have kimiko's face on it but it's definitely her autograph and it's definitely her voice but it just doesn't have her face on it so if you want a kimiko autograph there you go next we have chase crawford as the deep and this one's actually not an autograph you can buy one on ebay with an autograph on it but he actually has a tops first pitch where in baseball they have celebrities who throw out first pitches and he was one of them and it was actually for the los angeles dodgers who are actually going pretty deep in the playoffs right now i mean one game or two games away from going to the finals crazy what shohei otani has done for that team but yeah, that's a, uh, not an autograph, but a Chase Crawford card for the deep. There you go. Next on the list, we have Simon Pegg, who is Huey's dad, also named Hugh. And he was, I can only find one other one, but he has an autograph in Star Trek. There's a couple of Star Treks and Star Wars on this list. Because I mean, Star Trek has a stupid amount of sets. So the same with Star Wars. So yeah, that's it for Simon Pegg. And then we have Elizabeth Shue next on the list, who was Madeline Stilwell, who was actually only in season one and two before she got her brains disintegrated by Homelander. <laughs> That's crazy. But she has autographs in Leaf Pop Century. There is a shit ton of parallels that you could get for Elizabeth Shue in Leaf Pop Century. So you could pick and choose whatever you want. There's a bunch of parallels there. Next, we have Giancarlo Esposito as Stan Edgar. And honestly, didn't know that he had cards at all, to be honest with you. And he was actually in Star Wars as one of the dark side. Uh, he was on the dark side. I'm not 100% sure on what how what his ranking was, but it should say it on the card on the screen. He was in Star Wars, and then he also has a Leaf Pop Century autograph from when he was younger. 
uh, yeah, just a younger version of himself. I'm not really entirely sure what show that's from, but he has a Leaf Pop Century Auto as well. So next we have probably one of the better ones on this list. <laughs> uh, well, that's my opinion, considering the other role that he had in TV. And that's a Jeffrey Dean Morgan as Joe Kessler, who, I mean, let's be real here, probably one of the best best roles in TV in the recent recent times. We have Negan as uh, from The Walking Dead. And yeah, I mean, you can't, can't say much more than that. Once you hear Negan, I mean, come on iconic role there for Jeffrey Dean Morgan. He was also in, he was also in, uh, what's that show? What's that show? What's that show? What's that show? Uh, fuck. That's not it. What's that nursing show that's been on for 20,000 years? Dude, I'm blanking. What's that nursing show that's been on for 20,000 years? Bro, I could picture it in my head. I could see her face. Nah, I'm pissed. Hold on. Let me look this up. Nursing show. No way it's not on the front front page. Yo. Yo. Nursing show. 25 seasons. <laughs> Dude. What's the show called? Why am I pissed? Why am I pissed? Why am I pissed? Medical shows Grey's Anatomy why am I pissed how many seasons are there for this fucking show 20 seasons but once in 2005 he's a role in that show where he dies and then the the girl nurse is sleeping with his ghost even though he's not alive it's ridiculous but he was that ghost he was that ghost in that show enough of that so let's keep let's move on with this list so he also has leaf pop century autographs there you go next we have Sean Ashmore as a lamp lighter or lamp fight what is it lamp fighter or lamp lighter i thought it was lamp lighter yeah lamp lighter it's lamp lighter he has autographs in an early early set i think 20 years ago maybe 18 to 20 years ago he was in x-men 2 and x-men last stand from those are both written house card sets and i'm sure there's not too many of them out there so i mean there you go next we have Haley joel osmond who was Mesmer in the show. And he has, I believe there's two different X-Files sets that he has, but both the sets he's in is X-Files. So if you're an X-Files fan and the boys fan, those two cross over perfectly. Next, we have Britt Morgan as Rachel Saunders in the show. Now she was Becca's sister, which was Billy's wife, I guess the wife, uh, the one that Homelander ended up hiding away if you've seen the show so becca's sister this is becca's sister Britt morgan and she was in a couple of shows actually true blood and supergirl so i didn't even know supergirl had a set until i came up with this list so yeah and then with the final three autographs we have actually the only two cards on this list that have any association with the boys tv show and that is well first we have aaron moriarty as starlight and this is one of those cards where it's from ace and i'm not entirely sure how you even managed to get these cards when they release them so if you know let me know down below but from what i can see is that there's different parallels that you can get so you have some that are numbered to 70 and this is just their autograph and then you have some numbered to 10 which has an inscription of their name from the TV show. So Aaron's would be Starlight. And it's weird because I go on eBay and there's there's a couple of different ink colors that are numbered to 10. So I'm not sure if there's 10 green, 10 red, or if it's just they just use different ink for each one. I'm not entirely sure on that either. But that's for both her and then the other one who is Anthony Starr as homelander uh, arguably the, the biggest the biggest name in the show biggest character in the show he also has the same same cards from ace some number to 10 some number to 70 and i want to say that both of them have just ones that aren't even numbered but if i could find them i'll throw them up on the screen so you guys can see and then last but not least we have laz alonzo who was mother's milk in the show mm and he has autographs in panini americana 
from 2015 and i not sure what exact set that comes from either i've never i don't even own a panini americana card in my collection so yeah he has autographs in there a couple different parallels as well I'll throw them up on the screen if i could find all the parallels that is the entire list of autographs that i personally found that relate to the boys if you wanted to build the boys autograph collection now i may have missed some so let me know down below if i did if you found anything different than me but or let me know if you have some of these cards and actually collect the boys autographs which which would be cool i'm definitely going to pick up some of these eventually I'm not 100 percent sure when i have a bunch of sets i'm going for right now but if you are the boys fan here you go so thank you guys for watching stay tuned till next video Mom.